hello python programmers so this is the video fourth of a python marathon series for beginners in this video we are gonna cover conditionals now first let's see what are conditionals conditional are the python statements which specify a certain condition basically possibility of anything happening or not this is what a condition is now we have these four types of conditionals first is if statement second is if else then if elif and fourth is nested if so let's start off with the if statement this is the state uh, syntax of an if statement now basically what will happen here is you write if which is a keyword then a conditional expression here and if that condition is true or that expression or statement is true then the line which comes under this if block will run now let's see an working example I will open my python shell here now, now you must be wondering that why I am not using any IDE and I'm just using this Python idly which is uh, not what many programmers do so according to me Python ideally is really good for beginners and if you're watching this video series then I'm pretty sure you are a beginner only so this is a good way to start and I'm gonna be creating some some of the videos in future on how to work on atom and how to work work on many of the ideas but for the beginners series i'll be using the python ideally only so let's write the code for explaining you the if statement if okay let's say that x is a variable with the value 5 and we create another variable y and we say y is equal to 5 plus 2 okay uh, sorry uh, y is equal to x plus 2 now if y is greater than 4 which is obviously true then we will print vr inside the if statement and after this if statement is completed we want to write print out of the print statement now you must be wondering that what are these four spaces now this is the indentation which python program uh, Python programming language uses to create a block like anything which is four space separated after this uh, colon will will come under this if condition like this print statement is in the if condition but this print statement is not this is outside the if condition now let's run it first you have to save this by ctrl plus s press ctrl plus s let's say if and it, was, it will be saved as if.py now go to this run option and run module here you can see first it has printed vr inside the if statement then it has printed out of the print statement 
but what if this condition is false like let's say that uh, y is greater than 9 which is obviously false save this save this and then let's run it again there's a shortcut for running it by using f5 let's run it and here you can see that this if statement is not executed because this condition is not true so I guess you are getting my point that what I am trying to explain here now I'll be providing this this PPT so that if you have any confusion then you can just go through them just a uh, quick notes let's see if an else statement now you already know that if this condition is true then these statement will run now what happen if this condition is not true then we have a specific keyword called else which will run if the if condition is not true let me try to explain it by taking the same example now this if condition is false we have seen that else let's print I am in else condition let's save this then F5 to run this actually CTRL plus F5 to run this and here you can see first it has not executed the if statement there is no we are in if statement line but we have a I am in else statement line which states that if this condition is true is not true then it will run to else this is very basic English if and else if you know English language then there should be no difficulty to understand this concept and this is common out of the uh, out of the print statement <laughs> I don't know why I have written this out of the condition I should write here out of the condition makes more sense now okay so this is very much clear I guess now let's run to our next condition which is if elif now this is a bit different from our if or vanilla if and if and else now let's say that we have a grading system like let's take a more complex example let's say we have now let's say we are taking the input from the user what is your marks and let's say if the student is having above 90 percent then he will get an A if he is above 80 percent and below 90 percent then he's in B and and the same for the rest of the grades so let's create the condition for that if the number is greater than 90 percent then we'll say use code a grade now we'll not not use if here but we'll use an elif keyword which will also have a condition here now it will be more clear when I explain you with an example elif y is greater than 
80. Now here you can see if the number is more than 90 it will be A. If the number is more than 80 then it will come under the condition of this elif. It will say use code B great Elif Y is greater than seventy. We will print. Use code C grid. Now, my grading system is very strict, and if you get less than seventy percent, then you fail. <laughs> okay, so if you get less than seventy percent, let's create an if statement for that also because uh, we are explaining if and elif here. If the number y sorry there should be a space if the number y is less than 70 then you fail let's save this and let's run it now let's see that what will happen if i if i score 65 Uh, sorry wrong variable name actually save this run it again uh, what will happen if I score 65 obviously I'll fail let's run it again what will happen if I score like uh, 81 I got B obviously because above 80 percent it's B now let's run it again and see whether our A condition is working what if I score 92 percent I will get A grade so here you can see that we have seen in our if else statement then that we were having just one condition but in our if elif condition you can can specify this statement for for each condition now let's get to our last uh, last condition which is a uh, nested if now nested if statement are of these four types nested if inside an if nested if inside an else nested if inside an elif and nested if inside multiple ifs now this is really a, a possibility i will show you some of the examples Here now you can see if inside an if and if inside an elif if inside an else and there you can see if inside an elif if inside an elif so this all depends on you that what is your problem statement and what you want your program to perform this these three are the basics if else and elif these are the three conditionals you should know to to understand the conditionals so i will provide below some of the question statements which you can practice on yourself and if you are not able to solve them then comment below i will solve them for you there okay so this is it for this video and we'll meet in our next lecture bye bye